Hello everyone, my name is John Quixote, and once again today we are going to be playing the Banner Saga. And as always, link down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Alright, so last time we left off on a cliffhanger, there is a rumbling coming from Groffenheim. Hope all of y'all put your comments down there what y'all think it's going to be. I said it was going to be a land whale, and I said I'm probably going to be wrong. In fact, most definitely I'm wrong. I don't know what the hell it is, but let's see, it's coming closer. Go! Shouts for salt, taking off towards Iron Toft. Don't stop until you hear, till you reach Adberg. Oh my! Oh my! It's falling apart! Okay, it wasn't a land whale. It definitely was not a land whale. Oh. Oh, is that the Nidhogg? Is is that the uh, World Serpent? I forgot how, what what that thing's name is, but hey, on the plus side, it doesn't look like I'm having to use up any supplies. Thankfully. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I'm guessing this is hot getter. Hood getter. Hey, is that Hakan? Are you Hakan? Are you Hakan? I know you. Unless you're not Hakan, then then no, I don't know you. But if you are Hakan, I know you. Yeah. After three terrifying days of tremors, you reach the godstone of Hadbard, which is teeming with Varl, who wants to know what is happening. Others busily men makeshift defenses set up around the godstone of Hardberg, creator of Varl. Hold up, pants Fasalt between long gasses air of air. We're going to have to talk. You're still standing while well, most of you rest up then move on. A mountain just sank into the earth, and something is out there. You're just going to send us away. I don't know who you are, but you're not going to Ernatoft. There's a couple hundred Var here who will back that. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, that was totally wrong. Where are we supposed to go? Back the way we came? We're stuck between two mountain ranges. In one direction, a few thousand Var, the other, an army of dredge, or what and whatever caused that quake. Eintoft is a Var city. This shouldn't be news to a Var. Give it a rest, for salt. Don't you recognize who you're talking to? Surprise suddenly flashes across for salt's face. The other Var are starting to come closer now. You hear Ingvar being whispered between them. I think this might be the one person you want to let into Erntoft. You're... The humans have come to come with me. All of them. Fasalt glances between Ivor and Kramer before stalking away, pushing past the mob of curious onlookers. Ivor, who are you? Some other time, Rook. Some other time. You spend the rest of the day recovering. I'm telling you, Ivor is the fucking prince of John Near, or son of John Near, or whatever. <laughs> you spend the rest of the day recovering. Varl come and go in packs, and most of the chatter is about the quake that just sank mountains into the earth, or the dredge that are still on their way. You hear rumors that a massive chasm opened up, opened where the earth split. Uh, let's inspect the Godstone. We've been inspecting them all, so might as well continue with this one. The little you know about Hagerborg is that he was a disciple of the Loom Mother. Mother of the Loom, I, I guess. I don't know. And learned to create under her guidance. He created a few beasts, but soon became bored with simple animals and began combining man and beast, ending up with Varl. That's the myth, anyways. One thing is certain, each Varl alive today was created by Hardborg, and now the god is dead. The Varl here now are the last ones that will ever exist. A profound sadness washes over you. 
Kramir is already here. It is good to pay your respects, he says. And you both stand there in silence. Give this to young water, he says, turning to leave. It was once his, and that stubborn ass refuses to take it back. Kramir hands you a massive studded belt. Suddenly, there's a lot There's a lot of activity. Words come from below to retreat to the next village over, and you soon see why a black shadow is sweeping down the valley from the direction of Grafenheim, where the quake, or whatever caused it, has obliterated the mountainside. On closer inspection, it's a veritable ocean of dredge, more than you imagine possible. In their midst is a towering giant of a dredge, blood red from head to toe. You gather your things in short order and join a good mini varl, leaving the godstone behind. Ooh, we got got supplies, and we got the flurgener hunter. <laughs> I suck at these names. Hey, we got three days supply. Two, well, at this point, two days supply. Where is this? A mother screams flood. A mother screams flood the caravan. Her daughter lies dead in a tent. We all know who did this, she spits, staring directly at the woman she scuffled, scuffled with previously. That's why I told y'all to fucking drop the fucking argument. It wasn't the time for that. Why the fuck would you go on about the argument? Ugh, God damn it, people. <sighs> Murder of a marriage in these times. Something must be done. Oh, now you want to talk about in these times. Before, you didn't want these times to come in the way of marriage. Fuck you. The accused woman remained silent. Leave it to a vote. Try to discourage for further violence. Investigate the death. A healer joins you in inspecting the young girl's corpse. An old infection. An old infection, says the healer. No punctures, no choking, no poison. She died of disease. You report the news to the caravan. The mother admits that she had always known her daughter was ill. And everyone moves on. I actually made a right call there. I made a right call. Everybody celebrate. Oh, I wish I had a popper. I'd pop it right now, even though it'd get everything messy. I probably will not use the popper, actually, because of that. Oh, Ivor tells you, we can't stay here long. It'll take three straight days to cross Burr Pass. So stock up. There's no stopping once we leave. He takes off to speak with the other Varl about setting up defenses. Dad, says Alette, appearing by at your side. I liked old Ivor. Somewhere in the back of your mind, you feel the same way. You focus on preparations instead, realizing that you may be one of the first humans to set foot in Einertoft. Ein ah, oh, we only have eight renown. At least can't afford fucking anything else. He said three days. I'm going to assume we can go with a little bit less. Try to save some renown in case we happen to need it later. <sighs> Yachika. Hi, Yachika. Hi, Yachika. Oh, you're injured for three days. You're injured for three days. Great. Let me do some moving around. Because, yeah, we can't, we can't afford three days. At least not right now. God damn it, we're probably going to need to, though. Okay, I got who I wanted, where I wanted, so here we go. Alright, I think we're ready to head on out. So let's go. Let us go hither and thither and to our deaths and doom. <sighs> Please don't be overrun with slag. A city that only Varl have seen and cross a bridge that only Varl could build. Let us hope that we are the only unwelcome visitors to pass. Hopefully. I hope. Please, some good luck, please, sir. More. More good luck, please. 
I'd be oh so grateful if you were to be oh so kind as to spare me some good luck. Oh. Maybe it looks like everything is fine. Please let everything be fine. Please let everything be fine. <laughs> I hope. Please. Alright, we're at Underturfed. Look at all the Varl. You know, with this army of Varl, I, I think we can do good. Hopefully. Because the, the Varl, honestly, the Varl have been pretty much the headstone of my of my armies, of my battles. They have been like, you know, well, basically they're, they're the tanks. Even though they're not really too tankish. I mean, because they can still be taken down pretty well. All these warriors, another great war is upon us. It is the third time I have seen such a thing. There are far fewer of us now than there once was. Kramir heads up the stairs to the Great Hall and returns shortly after speaking to some Varl. What did they tell you? By all accounts, the dredge are coming here. Looks like they plan to win the Varl for good this time. This place will become a killing field soon. They say the Prince of Men is here. They've got a mender, too. Prince Ludin is here? From Aberring? In any case, we'll be given no audience today. You remember the last time you were here, Ingvar? It's Ivar. Yeah, I remember it. What now? We find somewhere to rest. I'd recommend keeping your people out of trouble while you're here, Rook. In fact, keep them invisible. Jongdil won't be happy you're here. You're shown to quarters, but could wander the city while you wait for, the, for an audience. You feel like you could sleep for a week straight. Probably could. I mean, you all have been through a lot. A whole lot, man. And only one day of supplies. Only one day of supplies with only two Ronown. Shit, I should have bought more when I had the chance. Gosh, friggin' darn it. That's all I can do. That's all I can do, boo boo. I have a feeling I have no idea. What else to do besides rest? As you settle in, you receive word come from the Great Hall the next morning. Ivor suggests not speaking unless addressed, and even then, keep it short. In your dreams that night, you see Varl kings fighting with dredge lords. An ominous feeling lingers as you prepare to enter the Great Hall. Okay, so I had to rest. Great Hall... Great hall. Let's go in. Enough, Evan. The bridge stands. Find some other ways. Greetings from Wyrmdor, Dunder. I have brought an ally. Who are these people? We don't have time for games. Wait, I know you. Ingvar among us again? Is this what the end of the world looks like? John Deere steps down from his throne to get a closer look. In the light, you spy deep wounds on the Varl King. It was my last option. You look like death, John Deere. John, John Deere. The Sunder came through Grothheim. All of them. Or. or we would still be there. A few thousand Varl remain. Bellower has been following us since Grafheim. That is what he does. What will you do? 
remain. There is no better place for us than here. We make our stand in Eintracht. But even in Eintracht Falls, the bar won't be wiped out. Hakan is taking our best warriors to Abarang, as we were discussing. I'm not joining John there. We're needed here. This is not a debate. A messenger bursts through the doors, cutting the tension. He says a stone singer has been cutting a path across the bridge. <clears throat> Gods, can we not have a moment's respite? They should not be here already. A stone singer is with them. Let me bring down the bridge as I said. It will buy us. I said the bridge stands, Minda. I say it again to you, and the Prince of Men, and the whole Minda Council. Where were they were they here? I will not say it again. Hakan, you go to Abering. Evan, do not even touch that bridge. Am I understood? You are. Then I'll confront the singer myself. Nobody tries to stop Evand, but many follow as he leaves the Great Hall. The Minder walks past great companies of Varl on the way to the bridge. A tall, thin creature stands there, two black spears over its shoulder, ringed by, dre ringed by dredge. The Varl have backed away in fear. Evan stops before the, st the stilt-legged figure. Suddenly, Ivers beside you. We should help him. You expect Ivor to refuse, but instead he he locks eyes with you. Listen to me, Rook, he says. You will probably die here. And so will everyone else who steps on that bridge. Look at your data. Are you prepared for that? You're not doing this alone. I won't stop you, says Ivor. Fight like it's your last. You're not sure what to expect, but you draw your axe. And soon find yourself standing behind Everend in on the bridge. Oh, sorry. He stopped, <laughs> he stopped talking. I thought that whole thing was him talking. Wondering if you made the right decision. We made the right decision. Live or die. We fucking made the right decision. Ooh, I can equip. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I got distracted there. I can finally equip something. Or this specific thing to something. Ivor's not strong enough to hold that thing. Okay, so... So we have to have him... Well, essentially, we have to... Let me get things set up, and I'll be right back. Ooh, he has points available to spend. Nice. Be right back. All right, we are ready. At least as ready as we're going to be. So that is the singer. Okay. Oh, I'm down to one burl. I should have switched someone else out. Oh well. Let's see. Rook and Odleaf, you are behind Ivor. Mo no, 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 no. I clicked on you. Eggle, you're over here. I think we're as ready as we're going to be on this. Fudge nuts. Oh, this is not... This is not good. This is really not good. Okay. Oh, well, I should not have put him first. I should not have put him first. He's going to rest. He's going to wait. What are you doing? No, no, no. Don't you summon. Don't you fucking summon around me. You fucking bastards. Alright. <clears throat> we move you forward. We're going to attack your shields. 
Bring him down quickly. Bring him down quickly, buddy. That's not what I meant by bring him down quickly. I was talking about your people. Gosh darn it. This is already starting off horribly. Ugh. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so this is probably where we're going to die. This is probably where we're going to die. But on the plus side, we just took out a lot of his strength and slash health. Oh, they are focusing on Ivor. They are fucking focusing on Ivor. That is not a good... Take out his armor. Gotta take out his armor. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Arc lightning mend. Let's see. Arc lightning shrink damage that arcs in all diagonal units. Uh Mend restores an ally's armor. Yeah, we're we've 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 got uh, we we've we've got to do something about him quickly. Take out his armor. Take out his armor. Take out his armor. Do it. Take it down. Take it down. Bring it down, dude. Oh, 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 and he died. At least he got one good attack in there. Fuck. But on the plus side. Oh, did you summon another? No, no, no. You did, you did, you did, no, bad, bad, bad you, bad you, you were bad, you were bad, bad, you were bad, bad, we going, we going after you. Sorry, Eagle, you're, you're going up for the cause. You're going up for the cause. Yag. Okay, just, just attack shield, that's good. Okay, we're going to take down your attack more. Uh, did, did I just... Oh, I think Eggle's poisoned. Yeah, Eggle's poisoned. Eggle's going to go down. Uh, let's see. You, you, you. Okay, I could take you out. Let's weaken you more. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You're doing what, exactly what I was hoping you would. Doing exactly what I was hoping you would, buddy. And you're dead. Bye. What are you doing? Oh, you're summoning too, you bastard. You fucking bastard. Alright, and we're going to do a bloody flail on ya. Take it down. Take it all the way down. Oh, no. No, no. Eggle, you're still alive. I don't know how you managed that, buddy. So glad you did, though. Ha <laughs> ha Take you out. Trying to get what? Oh, you're trying to. You're going to try to summon another one. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 Mr. Kool Aid Man. No! You are not summoning. You're not summoning. Oh, you're still summoning. You're still trying to summon. Fuck. This isn't good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is 
Quite the opposite of the good. This is quite horrible. No, 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 no. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. We need to take this motherfucker out quickly. Come on, stop his summoning. Stop his summoning. Oh, we did not stop. I don't think we stopped it. But on the plus side, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, Mogan, Hakan, I'm not sure which, uh, which one you were, but thank you. Your sacrifice made it all possible. We took him down. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Take down while we can. Take down while we can. Okay, good. We can uh, start whittling you down more. Whew, this is tense. But I think we have this in our advantage now. Oh yeah, this is well in our advantage. We got this. It only cost us just about everyone's life, but we got this. <laughs> Oddly enough, it's Ivor and Rook who, uh... It's Ivor and Rook who ended up taking him down and staying alive. Uh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Uh, 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 staying alive. Uh. Okay, I'll stop for y'all. <laughs> yeah, we, I know. Just about everyone's injured. Hopefully, no one's dead. Eight renown, good. Good. All right, and we'll continue because that took up a good bit of time. We're going to continue this uh, next time as far as uh, reading through this and what's going on. So, yeah. So, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button down below. And leave me in the comments. Let me know if you had any faith in me in winning that battle. Because, honestly, I had no idea how I was going to pull that one off. I had no earthly idea. And I think I actually did that. I think I played that off pretty damn well, honestly. All things considered, I think I did that pretty damn well. But all right. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, daily uploads, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!